wanted to become a writer first, just because I loved making up characters and getting my feelings out and, um, I don't know, making stuff up. And, and writing about myself, I always had diaries and journals, um, and I still have them, which someday might be of use to someone. And then um, I started taking I took film class and just sort of worked my way into screenwriting. I never and still don't imagine myself ever writing a novel. Like I feel like I wouldn't even know how to do that. I absolutely write scripts for me to direct. I don't think I've ever written a script, original script. Um, that I didn't want to direct. And if I don't want to direct it, it goes in the drawer. Sometimes I write a character with a certain actress in mind. I have done that with Katherine Keener. I wrote the part in Lovely and Amazing for Katherine Keener. And I always think, I usually just give her a script and say, you pick which one you want to do. But generally, no, I don't. Every person is unique. And if you're writing about people, they will be unique. If you stay away from things that are trite or cliche and um, just listen to your gut. If that person is being truthful and interesting, they'll be unique. Being able to write believable dialogue is intuitive. I, I just don't understand when people don't write good dialogue. Like, have you heard how people talk? <laughs> you know? It's like, don't make people more intelligent than that character is or don't let that character tell a bunch of jokes if they're not a funny person. Um, just remember who you're writing for. And if anything sounds false, get rid of it. I mean, I just write how people talk, I think, at least in my world. It would be different if I, you know, wrote something out of my world, like, you know, in politics, and those people are going to talk differently. I don't think there's any secrets to get a good performance out of an actor. Um, I'm straightforward, I'm honest, I'm very direct about what I want, um, I'm gentle, I, I always tell them they're doing great, I feel very maternal towards actors, and I find that what they do can be so humiliating and incredibly giving, so I, I feel like I take good care of them and give them freedom, but also boundaries, um, and casting, just cast good people. Um, and I've made some mistakes along the way, but I think that, you know, editing, thank God for editing, can help. Um, and, you know, sometimes I'll make a mistake and then, uh, and I feel like, oh, this is not going to work out, but that actor turns out to be actually good. Well, I've worked with Robert Frazen for five movies, and um, I trust him completely, but I'm very much a part of the process. I don't think a director could not be, because it's a whole other directing process, editing, you know, a scene can go so many different ways. So um, I love being in the editing room. Um, I don't love finding all my mistakes because that's where they are. Um, and it's amazing to see how things come together in an editing room. It's very gratifying when it does work. I actually did try to write a TV show, or I wrote one. I got paid to write one and I wrote the pilot in a couple of episodes and we pitched it around town and really nobody wanted it. <laughs> um, and it, you know it was really kind of what my films are like. It, it was kind of an extension of that and a lot of studios would say we just want you, you know, do you and bring it in and I did me and they didn't want it. I think mostly because there was two shows already being filmed that were similar. Like you can't have two shows about women <laughs> at the same time, or two shows about a single mom at the same time. And in the end, you know, I was kind of relieved. It's a lot of work. Um, I don't know if I like working that hard. <laughs> if I had to have give anyone tips about how to get their project greenlit, I would say um, try to attach an actor if possible. If that's not possible, do anything you can to find a competent producer, even if it's someone who's as inexperienced as you are. I think having a, a pal to do some of the heavy lifting for you really helps uh, a movie get made. Be flexible, take people's notes, take what you want and throw out what you don't want, but to get your movie made, you have to be 
um, open and flexible and be able to work with people. The biggest challenges in my career are um, not writing enough or as often. I, I wish I was more prolific. And I think that being in cast, casting who I want has been a challenge, but I've gotten what I've wanted, so it worked out in my favor. Um, but that's very challenging to get a cast that someone will finance. Um, and having, you know, self-confidence, I would say the biggest challenge is getting out of my own way and um, taking chances and not being afraid to make a mistake. The advice I'd give to budding writers would be expect your work to be pretty bad. You might think it's great, but you'll look back on it and it won't be that great because it takes a while. Um, but just keep doing it anyway. Just don't stop writing if you're enjoying it and you are getting even a, a m small amount of um, uh, encouragement. Take it and not be hard on yourself, you know. And also, like, don't don't try to copy other people. Or um, you can be inspired by other people, but you should write about what matters to you. I was working as a um, production assistant at the New York Film Festival and Jim Jarmusch was standing there because he had a mystery train and I summoned up the courage and I went up to him and I said what advice would you give to a young screenwriter who wants to be a director and he said don't give up <laughs> I was like oh my god he said don't give up <laughs> clearly I remember it to this day but yeah right don't give up if I had advice to anybody starting out, it, was like, it would be to be kind to yourself. And if no one believes in you, you should believe in yourself until everyone doesn't believe you. And then, honestly, you have to know when to quit. Or at least you have to know when to change scripts. Like I have friends who've been working on the same script for six years. And it's like, let it go, let it go. Um, but be kind to yourself.